this is Shirley. I am making this video for you because I am a property manager, I'm a real estate agent, but I'm also an investor and I have investors that buy houses and I partner with them. So I wanted to shoot this video just to let you know that I went looking at a house today as a buyer and I wanted to share this experience with you if you're trying to sell a house of what not to do when you're selling a house. I went as a buyer and I made an appointment, a specific appointment to go and meet this seller at, around, you know, at a certain time. And so I get there and as soon as I get there, um, I go to walk in or I step in and then I want to go take a next step, a normal step. And because when you walk into a house, your eyes sort of go to the left first. So I saw the dining room. And then they go straight back so I could see through the foyer to the family room in the back. But he stepped right in front of me and said, uh, we have a policy. You have to take your shoes off to walk through the house. And I said, oh, oh, okay. I sort of like <laughs> was shocked and said, uh, uh, well, I understand that. I wish you would have let me know ahead of time because... But anyway, I said, God, I'm glad I wore my new socks, my new pretty socks, because I would have been terribly embarrassed if I had holy socks or, you know, not look good-looking socks. But anyway, so I did that, got through that, and then he walked me through the house, and, oh, maybe five minutes as we're walking through the house, the doorbell rings again, and he says, you can go ahead and look there, the basement yourself, he said, because I have to go let the other next people in. Well, I thought I had my time scheduled with him, because I wasn't there just to be, make a tour of this house. I was going to make him an offer on the house. I was going as a buyer. So anyway, um, so I said, okay, what else could I do, right? So then I get back up, and he... Um, was busy talking to the other couple, so I went back to the foyer and started putting my shoes on and my boots because it's winter, so I had these low low boots. So and I needed to back up and lean on the staircase ra um, railings to put lean over to put my <laughs> boots on. And then the people were there and came around from the dining room and were getting ready to go up the stairs, and they sort of had bumped into me, and I was like, "Oh God, you know where am I?" I, I move over here to put my boots on. So it was very uncomfortable. And then I just thought, okay, well, I want to get out of here, right? Because I didn't have my time. Oh, and he had all kinds of people in the house. He said, uh, we've got company uh, because, and there were like five kids in the, which was a family room, but it was set up like a playroom for kids. So there were five little kids that you had to walk around them. And then in the kitchen, there were three in the kitchen cooking and three sitting at the breakfast table that's by the kitchen also. And there were that many people in the kitchen and the food smelled awesome. I wish they would have had some of it ready and would have offered me a, a, a taste. It, <laughs> but it wasn't ready and they didn't offer me anything. But um, it looked real crowded with all these people in there cooking. And they were all nice and sweet and friendly. But it's, you know, it just was I was there once again. My motive was to make an offer for our investors and myself to buy this house. So anyway, so I'm, back, I'm ready to leave. So I'm going out. So then he came up to me and real, got real close to me then, real close to my face and said, sort of like, it's, it's a secret, very quietly. He says, can you tell me what else I could do to my house to make it better? And I'm going like, well... It, the house shows well. I said, I'll, I'll have to call you and, you know, talk to you about, you know, if they want to make an offer on it. He said, okay. He said, because, you know, I know you're an agent too. He said, you know, you can bring a buyer if you want and I'll pay you a commission. And I said, well, if we don't buy it, I said, I wouldn't mind bringing a buyer. I said, but I work by contract. I just don't bring buyers unless we're in a contract together. He said, oh. I said, so if you want to, you know, if we don't buy it, if you want to do that, you know, I'd be welcome to do that. He said, well, I'll pay you a commission. And I said, well, it has to be in writing. You know, I've, I've been doing this for 20 years, and I learned that lesson years ago. You do not trust somebody, and you don't trust your buyers either because they can go around your back. So 
But he made me feel like then, on top of everything else, that he just wanted my opinion about the house because he wasn't even interested in hearing my offer. But that's how I felt. So I got to feel like how buyers feel, like when they go to see houses and why you really do need to get the sellers out of the house and do not let the buyers mix with the sellers because it just doesn't do good. It, it, it just made I, my feelings were hurt and because once again I was thinking as a buyer and um, do I want to call him back? Not really, uh, you know, I told him too, I said, well, your price, you probably can sell it. You probably won't take what we would offer anyway, but the house looks good and you probably can sell it. He says, yeah, but I'd like to really maybe at least purchase it so I could get a better price for it. And then I could get a lot of money down. And briefly I said, well, if people are going to pay more for your house, they're not going to give you more money down. It's going to be less money down if they're going to pay more for your house or more money down than less for your house. And then I thought, okay, here now I'm teaching him how to do his, what he, what he wanted from me. I'm teaching him. So I, I was upset with myself on that. But um, every day when you meet sellers or buyers, it's a, a conversation that goes on. And you never know what's going to happen, but it's good. I always learn something from it. And who knows, he might call me back and say he wants to list it, you know, and if that's what's in his mind, you know, maybe he, maybe he really doesn't want to sell it and he wants to rent it out because he talked about listing it to rent it and uh, so that he could hold on to it. And he said that way, and if they did do a rent to own and they paid me some money and then if they couldn't buy it, I'd get the house back. So I'd have made money, had somebody live in my house and then maybe then I can get the house back and sell it when the market turns around. So, of course, I had to say, yeah, but your house is in great condition now. You just painted it. You just put in granite countertops. You just did, um, it's beautiful. And you put a tenant in it for two or three years. You're going to have to redo that again. They're not going to take care of it like you do. He said, well, rent owners will if they're going to be buying it. I said, no, they still, they, they don't. Plus, just normal wear and tear. So, if you could... I would say if you can sell it, you should go ahead and sell it. Now that was because I want to buy it also, but um, you know, there's different theories, but I want to listen to what he really wants to do with the house. And it should not have made, made it more confusing for me either. Um, just wanted to share that with you. I hope you get something out of this because everything, like I said, I learned from it. And hopefully you can learn for it if you're a for sale by owner and you can learn about it, of how to show your house and what to do and what not to do. And if you have any questions about it, I'm going to have um, a webinar about this kind of thing. So maybe you'd like to come to that. So it's Shirley Farrington, 678-294-6548. Talk to you later. Thanks. Hi, I'm Shirley and I am a lease purchase specialist and I just went and viewed the prettiest large four bedroom, three bathrooms, excuse me, two, yeah, three bathrooms, two full and a half bath. And this is just beautiful. It is in the Marietta area and this one is $1,600 a month for the rent has a basement that needs some work to be finished but if you're buying as a lease purchaser if you finish that yourself you'll gain that equity so that's a good thing for you um, if it was already finished it, the house would cost more anyway and you would not get that equity the, the seller would get it so that's a real good thing if you're a handyman we're looking for a handyman that could do that or a handy woman. I know some women that are really good with a hammer and, um, you know, can really do sheetrock and paint and, you know, it would take nothing for someone like that to really finish that basement. But even if you don't do that, it's still a good opportunity right now because normally you have to put down, for a home this price, this is in the low 200s, you'd have to put down 6000 minimum and some of the owners are going to want 10000 
This one, right now, if you rush on it, and I know it's going to be gone before the end of the week, so you got to call me so I can show it to you, but you have to get pre-qualified first. Even though it's lease purchase, we want to work with someone who can get a mortgage later. And even if you can't right now, we work with you to make sure that you get your credit score up. And on average, it has taken me about six months to get people into a position to be able to go ahead and get their loan in about six months to get their credit score up. And you can be in the house, living in the house, while you do this. This is a lease purchase. So all you have to put down on this one is $3,500 and you move in. That's not bad at all. You do have to have a job. You have to have a job because you have to be able to get a mortgage later. And they're only giving mortgages with, you know, uh, FHA 3.5% down or um, financing higher than that. Uh, maybe 5% depending on your particular situation. But, so you have to have a job because they, they require a job. Independent contractors really can't get a house now unless they put at least 20% down. And sometimes the bank wants more. So for $3,500 to get into a two-story, two-car garage, four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath home in Marietta, that's a deal. Just came on the market. So give me a call. This is Shirley, and I do specialize in lease purchases, rent-to-own, owner financing, and my number is 678 Two nine four six five four eight, and I am licensed a licensed agent with Win Realty. So that's six seven eight two nine four six five four eight. Call me right away. I'll show it to you this week. Thanks.